Alec Ingold has worn many hats from his time as a Bayport Pirate quarterback to a fullback coming out of the University of Wisconsin. After meeting with all 32 teams at the Combine as the only fullback invited, he's visited Miami, Minnesota, and New Orleans, and of course, his hometown Packers. I had to ask him, as a Green Bay native, how hard is it not to look around and think, I am at Lambeau Field on a draft interview? You know, try not act super wide-eyed, but you know, it was it was a dream come true. You want to act like you you belong there, and th that's something that um, I've been working a long time to really achieve. So. Um, to be able to, to do that is, you know, you're proud of that, but at the same time, you know, it's just another step in the whole process. So you try and, you know, just act like a, you know, job interview for sure. How has growing up here really shaped you as a football player and as a person? I think it just gives you like a deeper appreciation for the sport. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of guys that are really talented and, you know, they, they can play the ball and they, they can, you know, do whatever they need to do. But um, growing up here, you know that it, it means a little bit more. And um, you see the greatness that, like, the Packers have had. And you know, I've been able to grow up, again, you know, with winning teams all the time. So, um, you know, seeing the Packers and appreciating the history of the sport, and, you know, it, it's just a little bit deeper and it means a little bit more to be going through this process. watch the kind of evolution of fullbacks in today's NFL. Yeah, it's, it's fun to have the conversation about how it's been dying, but then also how relevant it is for, for teams because, you know, it's both both aspects of, um, of teams. So, yeah, I feel like it, it's pretty fun to see how important they are in, in certain offenses. It might not be in every offense, but the ones they're a part of, they're pretty important. I feel like fullbacks become this like folk hero in every team that they may be. Like you think of like John right. Kuhn or right. like people like that, they kind of become a folk hero. Are you ready for that kind of yeah. fan embrace? <laughs> I think it'll be a little badge of honor. You know, it's you know not known as the most athletic guy. I'm not as fast as a wide receiver, and you know I'm not as big as offensive lineman. But um, yeah, I, I like to you know wear that as you know. You're going to be a tough guy, and you're going to be in. You got to do all the little things right. You have to do everything you're doing has to be right on because you know someone else can take that job right, you know, right from you. So, um, you know, guys like John Kuhn and um, Kyle Yushek, James Devlin, they've really laid down a path for what it looks like to be you know, important in their community and on their team. So, yeah, that'd, that'd be really cool. <laughs> How wild is it to think over the course of your career? You played quarterback here at Bayport. You played linebacker for a minute at Wisconsin. Then mm -hmm. you transitioned to fullback. That kind of journey you've taken, how wild is that to really reflect on? Yeah, everyone says it's really rare. And, uh, you know, I I don't know. I just wanted to be a good football player. That's all I ever wanted to do was, you know, put me in a spot where I can play football and, you know, in, impact the game. That's, that's how it's always been. And that's kind of how I've always seen it. So um, being able to play at quarterback and then play at, you know, running back, fullback, all that stuff, I think, it just goes to show, like, you know, it's a part of the game. You know, it's it's a game for us, and you gotta you gotta have fun with it. The fact that you have kind of played on this wide spectrum of, I guess, positions has that come up in any conversations with teams? No doubt, and I think they like it a lot. Just you know, when I try and talk about offense, I, I love talking football with these coaches. Um, you know, they can see the quarterback kind of come out and be like, I know where everyone's going. <laughs> like, I, I want to be involved in every aspect of you know the passing game and the run game. So. Um, they definitely see that, and I feel like that's something where I try and, you know, pound my chest a little bit, like, hey, like, I care about not just my job, but all 11 on the field. Should we see a trick play from you in the future <laughs> where you're throwing a fade or something? Yeah, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. I'm going to be on, as soon as, you know, I, I gain a little bit of trust, I'm going to be on them real hard about, you know, I can I can throw it to you, you know, I can I can run. I saw this uh, article where your dad said when you switch to fullback, you might never score a touchdown ever <laughs> again. Yeah. Um, when, now that, you know, you've gone through this process, what do you say to him now? <laughs> no, it's funny because we, we thought that the same way, like, you know, you might never touch the ball ever again, um, but, yeah, it's it's been 21 touchdowns pretty good for, uh, for a college career, so it was, it was pretty fun, no, no doubt. <laughs> and no matter where Engel may end up, he'll always remember where he came from here in Titletown. For NBC26, I'm Kelly Price.